We talk about full-time uh, job gains being made in the market. What about freelancers? Have Has their demand picked up? And if so, across what sectors are you seeing that demand uh, go up? I think to your point, it's really industry related more than it is, uh, you know, whether you're a freelance or whether you're full time employed. I think uh, some industries are seeing some faster recovery. So, for example, here in Singapore, we've seen uh, higher education coming back faster than on other industries, somehow related to some activities that the universities have around internships and, and more, but also because Singaporeans see this industry as being a, a high job security industry. Now, what's interesting is we're seeing that people are applying for job outside of their industry on the platform 1.5 more than they used to, which is really talking to the sectorial nature of the crisis we're going through. Some sectors are heavily impacted and people in those sectors are seeing the need to go and venture outside of those sectors in a way they wouldn't do before and looking for those jobs and applying for those jobs. That's interesting, Olivia, because in recessionary environments, we often think of people being more cautious. But are you suggesting that people are actually using this crisis as an opportunity to think about an entire career change? I think so. I think people are very conscious of what's happening in the industry they might be in, or unfortunately, some of those people may have been retrenched, which is obviously justifying their activity. But if you're in an heavily impacted industry, the thought of applying for a job outside of that industry makes sense. What does hiring activity look like on the platform relative to the pre-pandemic levels? Do you have an indication of that? Because the focus has been so much on layoffs and job cuts, but I also wonder if as part of restructuring, to what extent hiring is taking place? Yes, you know, there's a person gets hired every seven seconds on LinkedIn. So there's a pretty high rate and we can see these things. And so our economic graph team is looking at something called the hiring rates, which is really a ratio between the number of jobs posted and available at the platform at any given time and the number of our members uh, on the platform for those countries. So we have 690 million members across the world. What we've seen is uh, what I would characterize as wave one market. So China, Hong Kong, Singapore, which were early uh, impacted in the pandemic. The months of February saw a very, very steep decline of this hiring rate, like really, really steep. And the past 12 weeks, though, across the markets um, in, in Asia, particularly Singapore, particularly China and Australia, we've seen a steady recovery of those hiring rates. And in China, we're even back to actually pre-COVID levels in terms of hiring rate. And so in terms of ratio of jobs available on the platform to, uh, to our membership, which is encouraging.